Hello internet and filmmakers of the world. Today I'm going to show you how you can put anything you want outside of a window using a green screen. A lot of times when you're shooting indoors and you have a window in the frame like you see here, it gets completely blown out white and it just looks so amateur. So there are a couple ways around this. You can use ND filters and completely ND the window to bring down the exposure. Another way is to bring up the lighting in the interior to match the lighting outside. And this will also allow you to get a nice exposure of the window. Both of these techniques will work really well if you wanna see what's actually outside the window where you're shooting. But let's say you don't wanna see what's outside that window, that's where the green screen comes in. Now I'm gonna show you how to get this all set up and it's actually pretty simple to do. Now for my setup, I'm using a large green cloth backdrop on stand, but you could also use one of those pop-up five-in-one reflectors that often have a green side on them as well. And they're just a lot easier to set up and take down and they have a lot less wrinkles in them too. So that's a good alternative if it's big enough to cover the window. If you are using one of the cloth backdrops, make sure to use a lot of clamps to stretch it tight so there are no wrinkles in it. If there are wrinkles, it can really mess with your key when you get into editing. Also, a big part of using green screens is evenly lighting them. If it's way too bright and spotty in one spot and shadowy in another, you're not gonna get a good key out of it when you go to edit this later in post. Once you have your green screen all set up outside and it's evenly lit, it's time to move indoors and get the lighting all set up there. You wanna match the interior lighting with the exterior lighting that you're gonna add later in post. So if you're gonna choose a really sunny and bright scene, the room that you're gonna light should also be really sunny and bright. Or maybe you're going for something that's like more moody and dark, or maybe it's even a nighttime scene, you wanna light for that on the interior as well. Cause if the lighting in the two scenes don't match, the green screen is just really gonna be obvious and it's not gonna sell later when people are watching it. Another tip is that when you're setting up the lights inside, make sure that none of them are showing up and reflecting in the glass. Cause if they are, it's gonna completely kill the effect and make it nearly impossible to get a good chroma key when you get to the editing bay. Once you have your interior scene all lit properly and the green screen is ready to go outside, it's time to finally shoot your scene. Once you finish shooting your scene, the rest of the magic happens in post. So let's head over to my editing bay right now and I'll show you how to get this done in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's start by dropping the clip onto the timeline and then head over to the effects browser, find the keyer and go ahead and drop it onto the clip. Now you can see some of the areas did not key out super well. So we're gonna go over to the video inspector in the top right and then click on sample color. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the area that should all be considered green screen. Next, let's go ahead and drop the clip that we want to be in the window underneath the other footage. And then I'm gonna add the letterbox to both of the clips because it just looks a little more cinematic, but you don't have to do this part. Next, I'm gonna crop in the background video so that no lines or anything show up on the above clip at all. Then we're gonna go back to the effects browser and drag the Gaussian blur onto the background video. And I'm gonna turn it down to about three so that it makes that image look just a little more blurry so it's more in the background and not so sharp. Finally, we're gonna do some color correction and adjust the exposure between the two clips so they match a lot better and they actually look like they're all part of the same scene. Using a green screen like this, it's a simple technique, but it's an awesome way to create scenes and backgrounds that you may not have access to in the real world. So, Give it a try and send me some of the stuff that you make. I really wanna see what you guys can do with this. Guys, if you wanna learn how to light and shoot better videos, hit subscribe right now. I have so many more videos coming out on shooting, editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.